welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to use the Dr. Rex, the Dr. Octo Rex looper, and I'm going to show you how to create a Rex file so you can use it there from a WAV file or MP3, either or. So, first, what you do is you, you're going to import <clears throat> an audio file. So, let's uh, use one of my beats here. Okay, so you see it here. All right. Excuse me. I, as you can see, I clicked on it, double clicked on it, and it created these uh, lines here. And this is lined up to work where the wave files have peaks. Now you could go in here if you, if you wanted to and delete these if you want to. Remember, each of these arrows you see is going to be played on each key on your piano. All right. So you could edit this do it how you want it. So if I click on this right here, let's use this here. Get the idea? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I got an iMac, so I'm going to hit control and click with my mouse and then I'm gonna bounce it to clip to Rex loop it's gonna pop up here on my on my tool I'm gonna hit click I'm gonna click on uh, to rack and then and export. okay so uh, we don't have to hit export but that's if you wanted to save it somewhere. Um, now here, you can see this is my uh, new Rex with the loop that I just made. Right, so as you see, I'm playing on my keys. Now, when I go to this Rex, the new one, right? I might want to give it a name. So loop, the beat, whatever you want to call it. All right, so now here it is. Said the the little lines you saw earlier. Here they are. You could do effects like you could take one loop and you could reverse it if you want. You could pan it, change the pitch. Um, you know, it's a lot of things you could do. Um, you could even assign each slice there to a different uh, output, as you can see right here. And then from there you could actually use that to, to go to a different uh, mixing channel. This way you can mix it better. All right. So now what I could do is I could play this back and then um, make sure you turn this off. So here we go. So now what I could do is I could record this. Oh, remember, <laughs> you want to have the best response, change the buffer to, uh, you know, lower sample rate. Now is on point. All right. There 
there you go. That's a whole new beat right there. So it's, it's like you're chopping it up and you're just doing something else with it. Actually, I like this. what since that's my beat i don't have to get no clearing rights for the sample so uh i'm gonna leave you with that right there uh thanks for tuning in and uh remember subscribe because i'm gonna have more more little tu tutorials like this uh, you know i can't do everything in one video but uh i look forward to having you visit some other time and checking out the next videos and you know in the comments requests if there's any Anything that you're trying to learn or, or, you know, you suggest some other way of doing something that, you know, everybody has their own way of doing things. So uh, make sure you leave a comment there so I can understand what's on people's minds. Take care.